Welcome to the Baj Al Ghazal. Forty-seven. I would like to address the Providence partners directly. I want them to know why this is happening. And I have an idea, but it requires you finding a map terminal. M47. Marcus Stuyvesant won't be a problem anymore. Let's move on to Carl Ingram. We're not done yet. On behalf of His Royal Highness Omar al Ghazali, I thank you. Come back to what? 
I'll be waiting upstairs in the reception. Understood. All right, there. Sorry, I just need to do a quick search if you want to get through. Just routine. This'll just take a sec, sir. Okay, let's go, sir. Thank you. Forty-seven. I would like to address the Providence partners directly. I want them to know why this is happening. And I have an idea, but it requires you finding a map terminal. Yeah, I just want to remind you about the uh, lockdown drill tomorrow. That's right, 900 hours. Find out what that was. That's affirmative. Absolutely. We're clear. There's nothing here.
wanted to join me. I'm not hungry, but I will happily keep you company, sir. I used to own restaurants. A dozen or so. Michelin stars. If they didn't have at least two, I'd sell them. I only own them. Carl oh, Ingram finally gets what he deserves. Good riddance. Now let's get Marcus Stuyvesant. Welcome. Named Pinky. I got word that he entered the building, but he hasn't reported for duty yet. Probably still down at the depot, getting his uniform. I just hope he's got his papers with him. I heard rumors that he used to work for that Dowood Rangan. You know, the Bollywood producer who died? Doesn't sound promising. <laughs> nope, it doesn't. Stuyvesant is expecting a replacement guard. If you can locate him, we... that noise? Reporting for duty. About time. Our client has been going out of his mind waiting for you. Do you have the papers? Yes. Good. I'll call him now. How should I address him? It's classified. So, you don't call him anything. But officially, he's just known as codename Pinky. Sir, this is security. Just calling to let you know your new guard has finally arrived. 
Yes, sir. See you soon. Okay. Wait here. He'll be here shortly. So, how are you finding Dubai? Uh, it's a gold mine for people in our trade. If you threw a rock, you'd hit a rich man in need of it. Huh? You heard it? Go see. 10 4. standards and trust you will do your duty you have your credentials on you well this all looks very promising hey how are you yes good oh you worked for Darwood Rangan hope you weren't there on the day of his tragic death okay this all looks very good okay walk with me I need to go through some ground rules. I expect you to be by my side 24 7. Unless I say otherwise. No. Unless I say otherwise. But breaks are, of course, permitted, but only when I say so. I have a very important keep your ears closed, but your eyes wide open. Understood? Now. No papers, good. Hey, come back here! You are not done here! Now follow me. Now. but I need to see what you can do with my own eyes. My father used to take me hunting. He was an avid hunter. I personally hated it, but always admired his skill with a knife and grew to appreciate what it takes to gut an animal. Have you ever tried to gut an animal? Yes. Good. Then you know it's not so easy as it looks. Like trying to stab a rubber ball. It bounces back if you don't stab it correctly. You're almost here. You have to understand. I didn't get where I am by blind faith. Okay, we are almost there. You see the shooting targets? Any fool can shoot a target. But with a knife? No. <laughs> That's where the talent lies. My father. I always used to say, if you work with a knife, you're even better with a gun. I want to see your skills. I don't know why, but I've always trusted a man who could throw a knife. <laughs> I'm sure a psychiatrist would have a field day with that statement. So, show me what you got. Do well and you work for me. You get out of here. Got him, 47. Marcus Stuyvesant won't be a problem anymore. Let's move on to Carl Ingram. We're not done yet.